Greetings, Magnesites. The god that wields the dark meal never turns. To answer your question, as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers, each 4,000 strong, or 3,000, or four, on its way to four, I can't remember. Anyway, so, this email here comes from a Magnesita. I haven't gotten an email from a Magnesita in a little bit. So let's get this in, shall we? So it says, please help. It's a dating and standards issue. Hi, Tyrone, without the E. My name has an E on the end, woman, but I shall let that go. It says, I recently started watching your videos and you show such intellect and head screwed on, so I thought I'd seek your advice. Thank you. About three months ago, I met this guy who asked me out through work. He was a tall, spicy chocolate and I was vanilla with a punch. <laughs> Sounds like you start off your own little romance novel here. I rejected him at first, but he kept pursuing me and it impressed me, so we exchanged numbers. We went out a few times and very quickly I noticed that it was losing impact. He started requesting more and more that I come to his place rather than actually make the effort to pursue me by going on dates. Getting to know and getting to know each other properly, not casually. He would keep saying that he wanted to make me his girlfriend, but I was on the fence about things the whole time. He would be reluctant to actually ask me out, but insisted that he's the type of gentleman that would swoon and charm a lady. Now I'm very romantic and I need that. A man who can lead and take charge. All right, so let me stop you for a second because you said it started to lose impact, but you did say you went out a few times. So if you went out a few times, that means you went out on a few dates, right? Is that what you're telling me? If you went out on a few dates, but apparently he got comfortable enough with you where um, he wanted to invite you to his place. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, there's not too many guys out there that continually go on a bunch of dates. Even me, when um, there was this girl that I was dating, I think we went on two dates. And a week after the first date, I was destroying her, okay? So we, 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 we talked for a week because we met on a Saturday. We went out on a Friday because we went to the movies. We kissed when we went to the car. And then the very next week, uh, where we go? I think we went to Chili's for dinner. Uh, we kept it really casual, you know, as far as dinner went. But, you know, Chili's is, you know, more of a casual. It's not like, you know, Capitol Grill or anything. And then, you know, we was getting it in. Hard and good. Okay? So, it doesn't mean that he's not a quality guy or not even a gentleman. Um, but what you may seek is more of a traditional gentleman. Um, a guy that all it is is dates. You sound old fashioned to me, which isn't a bad thing. It's just there's not too many guys left that are actually that chivalrous. You know, and I know a few guys that are good men, but they just don't take girls out that much. You know what I mean? Um, but let me keep going here. So I clearly told him that this is what I seek and need in a relationship. No half-assed attempts and merely texting with no intentions to plan a date and court me. So you're using words like courting and all this. Like, you sound really old-fashioned. I don't know any women my age that even talk like that. It seems like this guy was pinching pennies with me, which was baffling because he wasn't exactly broke, which is something don't you don't exactly know. Well, some guys will spend most of their bill money just to take you out and quote unquote, treat you right, just to impress you. And then because he doesn't have the money, but he doesn't wanna um, lose face, he doesn't want you to lose respect to him, for him or think he's not a good man or think that he can't provide, um, he just off offers to ask you over for leisurely encounters. You know, hey, let's watch some movies. Hey, let's do this. 
I can't tell you. And it's just because this is how I am. I've always been like this. I've always been very casual. Very casual. And I've never traditionally ever taken women out on dates. Um, majority of the time, it was um, getting to know you time. So, like, I remember there's one girl I met, and, you know, I, I went to see her at a high school football game. That was the first time we actually hung out, and I talked to her. And then we went to the mall and hung out. We went to Burger King. This is when I was younger. Um, and then there were, like, other girls. Like, um, I remember we went um, to this one girl. We went to um, Dave & Buster's. Uh, we had some finger food. Talked all night, walked around Philly and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I always said it was. So, don't think that the guy's a bad guy just because he's not doing any things. But I understand that you want romance. All right? So, I'm going to get to that in a second. So, I hinted and suggested a few things he could do. Yes, I was getting more frustrated. This, this whole encounter sounds like one of my old relationships. And that only got him to dig his heels deeper, saying that I need to let him do it. Well, those gestures never came. What I didn't understand was he was the one that started this. He said that I am his ultimate woman. So why play mind games? As you can tell, we both are headstrong and neither one would give up. The sex was amazing, but <laughs> there was always something off. He started showing signs of arrogance and disrespect, which just tipped me off the edge. Guys usually start talking shit after they didn't hit you off enough, and you're starting to piss them off. That, that will happen, because... You're pressuring him. I'm not saying that he's right and you're wrong or you're wrong and he's right or he's wrong and you right. I'm not saying that, but I'm just Phil tipping you in, okay? And he started showing signs. Of in the end, we stopped all contact three weeks ago. And I am driven crazy because he's the best sex I have had in a long time. Damn, this sounds too familiar. So, do I stick to my guns and standards of a quality man? Or do I give him one more chance? And if so, how do I deal with it? Or do I just call him for a booty call? P.S. You have the same eyes. I knew it. See? One of my flames. Look, girl, look. If we ain't doing nothing right now. <laughs> It, it, you know, things just had to had to go. You know what I mean? Um, I will go with the last option and just call me for a booty call. But just in case this ain't one of my old things talking, let me uh, sink my teeth into this. So, what was funny is men tend to stick with how a relationship started. Let me give you an example. When me and my last girlfriend were together, we started out very very casual and that's how it stayed uh never took her out on any dates actually one time i took her to cracker barrel we did go to cracker barrel for a, a lunch i wanted to actually come visit she told me she was getting out of church and i said hey why don't you meet me at cracker barrel for some lunch she was like okay so we went and talked and um uh, after we had gotten together she had told me a few years later that you know it always bothered her that we never had a courting process. There was never a dating process. And she was a huge romantic. And I wasn't. Kind of like this guy. Um, and that's the thing with guys. When it's, if he romantically, see, he start, but, but, but see, here the thing is with me is that you want more dates out of him. But the thing is, is he got comfortable before you did. That's what happened. He got comfortable before you did because, and we, we men do that. Like, we, we're not like, you know, in our 50s, and we won't continue to just ask you out to dinner. Well, well ma'am, you're a handsome woman. 
I'd like to take you out on 18 more dates. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, and it's, it's, it's more expensive than what women think. Okay. When I was rolling in it a couple of years ago, when I was, <laughs> man, I took Sarah out all the time. Always buying her stuff, jewelry, dresses, food, taking to the movies, the restaurants. I used to, man, she used to get a lot of shit from me. But as things went on and, you know, different financial situations happened, that shit can't happen all the time. And some women just have to realize that some brothers are doing the best that they can at the time that they can. And you have to look at it for what it is. Is the, if the relationship really has substance, then you stay with that man. Stop harassing him about dates, okay? But if it don't have substance, then I kind of get it. Or are you starting to feel cheap because the sex is so good? Are you meeting up just to fuck? And you're starting to feel maybe used or like the, the date isn't true. The, you know, the relationship isn't truly a romantic one because you're you know, just going to see him and you're not getting a romantic evening with dinner and conversation before you have sex, okay? One way to get what you want is to ask and persist, but you have to be persistent, very, very persistent and strong in the beginning and the guy will get the point. If you lackadaisical about it and you let it go, he's gonna let it go. Just like the other way around. I'm sure you've been maybe asked something to do something by a guy or a guy wanted something out of you. He kind of laid off on it and he got relaxed. So you got relaxed. So, I mean, do what you like with this. I mean, I feel like you don't truly care about each other like that anyway. I feel like your sex is off the fucking chain. So... You know, if he calls you again and you really want a relationship with him, tell him what you need or no. And if not, go ahead, make him a booty call. I was a booty call with someone for a full year before we got together. So, you know, and that's exactly what it was. And we eventually grew on each other and that's how we got together. But the, the whole booty call relationship was absolutely fine. So... Uh, I hope I've answered all your questions. And P.S. I have the same eyes. Are you trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson? <sighs> Hit the like button. One million subscribers.